before we watch the video, a few points I wanted to make. The event here is like the George Floyd incident, but for Latinos, that is my first impressions. The image here, when I first saw it, looks Hispanic guy. Man dies in Arizona after being restrained by police on hot time after six minutes. That's the headline. That's what they want you to think of straight away, that they've caused him to die. Um, his name is Ramon Lopez, so yeah, he is Latino. And he became unresponsive in the back of a police car following his arrest for allegedly stealing a drink from a shop in the city of Phoenix. Cause of death is pending. His brother says, Nobody's perfect, but he didn't deserve any of that. Nobody's perfect. Elaborate on what you mean by that. Was he a criminal? Was he a good boy who made mistakes? What? Very vague. But anyway, he says, They were on top of him with all their weight on the hot asphalt pavement. Who wouldn't be fighting? He was fighting for his life and he lost. The incident took place on 4th of August. So why are we hearing about this now? On the 22nd. That's very strange to me. So the police were called by a woman who said he was being very suspicious and making gestures and it basically looking like someone who was maybe unbalanced, yeah? Either on drugs or mentally challenged or whatever. But look at him. He's very distinctive with a tattoo right above his eye. How often do you see that? So that's one thing to bear in mind, that already, if they wanted to, they could make memes of this guy that are very distinctive and everyone will know who it is because he's got the tattoo right above his eye. So just have a look, bearing in mind everything we've seen so far. And you look at the actual footage, yeah? So remember, he stole a drink. Police run after him, supposedly they hold him down and then he becomes unconscious. That's what this video shows now, OK? Stop. While the officer followed Lopez, the man continued throwing the drink onto the officer. Eventually, the officer was able to grab Lopez and both... I say at this point, it's not worth chasing him off over a drink here yeah, when he's going into traffic and anything could happen. He could cause more problems. Someone fell onto the roadway. While well, the first officer attempted to arrest Lopez, two additional officers arrived to assist. Lopez refused to comply with the officers as they tried to place handcuffs on him. The officers held his arms and legs to keep him from kicking. I want you to see if you can I want you to see if you can see money in his hand or what looks like money. The officers held his arms and legs to keep him from kicking. I mean, look at how many different angles they're giving you here at that point. And then they cut, and they're all like got cuts on their elbows and everything. I don't know, but if, if I wanted to wake someone up who's unconscious and they weren't doing it by me just doing that to their chest or whatever, I'd try their head or... I don't know, I'd just try something different. Wake up, buddy. Come on. Anyone know why they blur out his face when 
we've already seen like a photo of him with his tattoo above his eye and everything. I, I don't know, personally. In in the article, it says he became unresponsive in the police car, but he's unresponsive here, supposedly, as well. So which one is it? Yeah. He's breathing. He's breathing, guys. You see how that's how they left it? He's breathing, guys. So that's what they wanted you to, to think, that at that point he was alive and everything. Anyway, so what do you think? Do you think it's like um, a George Floyd sort of event to get the Hispanic community to protest as well? So then you've got two um, groups of people who are now protesting against that police brutality, which could be fake, which could be real, but used as propaganda to start it. Um, I don't know, man. Again, look at look at the guy, yeah? You can make memes, you can make um, artwork, all kinds of stuff with this guy's face because everyone's going to know who he is because he's got that tattoo above his eye. You know? And remember, this all happened because supposedly he stole a drink. Now, I don't know if that's what he had in his hand. There was money. I can't tell. It's not a good enough photo. But instead of, like, protesting against vaccines, new, no new normal, kids going back to school with masks and all this absolute ridiculousness, we're talking about um, Latinos and um, black community and police brutality, which is obviously wrong, but... There's a bigger picture here, and they're probably doing these events on purpose. Yeah. I don't know if the, George Floyd had mental issues. I don't know if this guy did as well. Are they picking on certain individuals and then either faking killing them or killing them just to start these events? That's that's a, a theory that could be possible. My opinion on vaccinations, they won't be mandatory. I just think what they'll say is if you don't have them, you'll have no job, you'll have no benefits... Um, you'll have no access to public transport. But at that point, what we have to do is create our own communities where we don't need their system, where we grow our own food, um, help each other out, um, act like doctors and teachers ourselves because we don't need their system. But anyway, for now, let me know. Do you think this is a, a George Floyd incident, but for the Hispanic community? Take care. Unite the people to fight the evil. Peace.